Hello everyone, this is DA from Me Academy and today this video is the fourth part of Han Banak theorem and in this video we will discuss what is the technique that we will use in order to in order to prove Han Banak theorem when we have uncountable elements in that space in that linear space V. So let's start it. For this we will use the zones lemma and the statement of the zones lemma is if we have a partially ordered set x with the property that every chain in that set x has an upper bound then x contain a maximal element and i am not going to prove this or eventually there is no uh, general or direct proof of this of this lemma because this lemma is really used in so we'll use Zones lemma in order to prove the Han Banach theorem for the uncounted case. So let this is the capital F, the class of all the possible extensions of the functional F naught that were under consideration. So there was in between U and the field. So let's suppose there is F star is the one of the extension of F naught because f is the class of all of the possible extensions of this functional that is from u to r. So if f star is the functional that is the extension functional of f naught then it must satisfy the condition of the majoritism that f star of x is less than or equal to p of x for all x that are taken from the domain of this set because if we're talking about that this is a set this is a space v and this is the field r and there is a subspace u here and we are taking a functional f naught from u to u to r then the elements that are taken from f naught from this domain x the domain of f naught is u and the elements that are taken for f naught are from u so this is the domain of of f naught so when we're talking about that f star is a extension of the functional f naught then the elements that are taken from the domain of that functional f star of x or simply domain of f star and also because this is an extension functional so f star of x must be equal to f naught of x when x is taken from the domain of that function or we can also say that u or x taken from u so you can write the both for your convenience so now we will use a zones lemma and the lemma is really constructed on the base definition of the partial ordered set so we must have to define the elements in f has a partial order or not we must have to check that the elements have their partial order or not so let's take two elements from the set from the class or set f so we have two elements f and g from that class f then there must be an element that is less than an other element so let's suppose that f is less than or equal to g if and only if g is an extension of that f why this is because we have g is greater function than f then we can say that in the in the class of f that g is the extension of f and this is only possible when the domain of G, when the domain of G is a superset of domain of F or domain of F is the subset of domain of G because this is just same as that when we're talking about any function is an extension of another functional or any functional is an extension of another functional then in the case when we're talking about the two functionals are taken from F and they have this relation then we say that by this g is an extension of f and if it is then this is true that the domain of g is a sub superset of domain of f or the domain of f is a sub subset of domain of g and the other thing is that f of x must be equal to g of x or g of x is equal to f of x for all x that are taken from the domain of f because f is the smaller functional here or that are written here in the case when we're talking about the less when we're talking about the lower functional uh, so we have to say this thing as well so 
the two elements that are taken from this have these properties in in that and we will talk about the extensional functional we will talk about that this functional and the extension of another in this in this manner so now again in the zones lemma there is a word chain because that every chain in that partially ordered set has an upper bound so we have to look the we have to talk about the chain in that f so let's suppose that we have a chain c here in the class f of all of the extension functional of that f node now we have a chain in that f so we must have to define a linear functional in that so let so let we have a functional a linear functional in c that have a name a name f lower star so we have this a linear function that is defined as the domain of this we have to specify first so the domain of f star sub subscript the star in the subscript is equal to the union of the domain of every every functional uh, in that c or we can write that g belongs to c right so there is the functionals maybe outside from from this but the union f star f sub f star f lower star so i'm just so i'm just saying it f star here right right now so this f star is the domain of f star that is a linear functional for c is equal to the domain is equal to the union of every functional that is in the chain and this is the way in which we will define that this functional is the extension of all of this all of this functional so the other thing is that that what what should be that f star of x is equal to g of x for all x in the domain of that functional in the domain of that functional g that f star of x is equal to g of x for all x that are, that are taken from the domain of g and from where the g the functional g comes from it is from that chain c so it is it is from the definition clear that this f star this linear f star this this is linear so that is why we have defined f star in this way so it is a linear extension of f node because there is the there is the property of being an extension of that g that is in the chain c and this is what when we're talking about that that x is taken from the lower functional then what should the value given by the f star so this is what it is so f star is a linear extension of f node f node so clearly from the g of x directly we can talk about that f f of f node of x from the above arguments and we can also imply this that f star of x is less than or equal to p of x for all x that are taken from the domain of this functional so now this f star belongs to this this f because what is f f is the class of all of the extension extension function of f node so if it is this because it has proved here so f star is in f so it can be in c or it can be in f so that is why now because of this of property because this property of f, f star of x this functional f star is the upper bound for this chain c upper bound can be on the boundary or it can be outside here so it is the upper bound for the chain c so when again by zones lemma because we're using here what is the last statement of that zones lemma that this class f that have a partial ordered set must have a maximal element so here f has a maximal element that is f that is f eventually because f is the bigger function because f is a bigger function that was in the target of Hahn-Banach theorem that we are looking for a function functional f that is the extension of f node and that gives the property that it is less than or equal to p of x that it satisfies the majorities and property and whenever x are taken from the lower functional it gives the images of that subspace and that to that value in the field so by all of the discussion 
we have by Zohan's Lemma as well because the door that was directed by Zohan's Lemma is that F has a maximal element that is only this F because this F is the extension of F node and F of X is less than or equal to pay of X for all of the X that are taken from the domain of this functional F and this has a domain of every of every possible element in that space V. So now we claim that that f of x has a domain that, that that is all v for if it is not so we will consider that if it is not then the elements that are taken from that are taken from the v by domain of f if, if the domain of f is not equal to all of the space v then what should we do or what should be the other other option is that the elements are taken from that the elements are taken from v by the domain of f so this will be the other option then there is an if it is if it is then we can figure out the extension of the any functional by by contradicting the maximality of f or by using the by using the countable elements in the in the extreme step so here the f is the required extension of f node is here and we have figured it out by using all of the above arguments by using the zones lemma in the case of the uncountable elements in that space v so this is for now for most of the videos and you can subscribe this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos we will meet in the next video till then take care goodbye